Wow, look at all the words. Okay, let's read. The EMF of a cell is six volt. It has negligible internal resistance and is connected across a resistor. The potential difference across the resistor is also six volt. Ah, so the energy supplied and the energy used is the same. Of course, there's no internal resistance. Okay. They have the same numerical value but represent different processes. Interesting. Which statement about the different process is correct? All right, so let's look at this one. If you want to think about the different processes, we are thinking about EMF and potential difference. And if I just roughly glance through all the statements here, it is all about energy transferred. It's either energy transferred or energy transfer per unit charge. So obviously, the energy transferred one is wrong. Because the definition of both of these, it has to be per unit charge per unit charge. If not, then the, the unit will be in joule instead of volts. Okay, so this 6 volt here tells me that there is 6 joule of energy for every coulomb. So that's why it's energy per unit charge. And then when it comes to EMF, this one is the battery, right? It's a cell. So whenever it's a cell, you are converting non-electrical energy, non-electrical energy to electrical energy. Okay, non-electrical to electrical. So if it's non-electrical to electrical, you are talking chemical to electrical. This is your EMF. Okay, and what about potential difference? So recall that potential difference is normally across something. Maybe it's across a resistor. Maybe it's across a lamp. Okay, although they have the six, the same unit. Now we are talking about electrical energy to other form of energy like heat or light, or if you are sitting under a fan, kinetic energy. So. When it comes to 6 volt, right, it's just a unit to represent how much energy per coulomb. What happens in the battery is I take, let's say, chemical energy and convert to electrical energy. So maybe I have a battery here. Then this one is a motor la, connected to your fan. Okay. So the battery gives you 6 joule for every coulomb. The current carries the energy to the motor. And the motor now have 6 joule for every coulomb to rotate the, the blade. This is perfect conversion with no internal resistance in the circuit. Does it happen in real life? Of course not. But we need to just understand the process. So here PD is energy transferred from electrical energy to thermal energy. Correct really. So since A and B is out, we need to find the one that has EMF chemical energy to electrical energy and PD electrical energy to thermal energy in the resistor. Sure, the answer is C. Testing your understanding of the difference between EMF and PD. It's a very fundamental understanding. Can also be asked to define in paper too. That's it for this one.